Good morning YouTube, another day, another dollar. We're all loaded for Southampton. Um, I've been neglecting to sort of tell you guys that don't know the UK or my area, how far that is. It's only about 30 miles away, it's about an hour, if it's not busy traffic. And then once we've done Southampton, we've got to head north, up the A34, uh, and then on the M40, up towards the middle in sort of Warwickshire, and up to a place called Gaydon, with uh, two vehicles to deliver there. That's, that's about another two hours up the road. Um, that's about 100 miles from Southampton. So all in all from here, we're gonna do about 130 miles to get to our second destination. Right, let's get on and do this. Well, we've delivered our two export cars, no problem. It's just a usual run-of-the-mill thing here with them. But the collections, the imports, haven't been given um, clearance. No, yeah, no customs clearance or anything. So we've, I've just rung the office, and the wheels of industry are in motion at the moment while we wait to get them released. So you know, a bit peeved about that, but you know, you get these little delays. So hopefully it won't take too long. We'll be away from here. Um, yeah, in a, yeah, in a few minutes, you know, 20 minutes to do or whatever. I'm waffling now anyway. Let's wait and see what happens. Well, that wasn't a disaster. Within five minutes, they were knocking up my door saying, "Is your two cars driver?" Well, thank you very much. So they're on. We're loaded now, and um, we've we've got a reload as well, which is. About uh, 10 minutes away from where we're delivering these two cars, so that's a nice round trip. So we're off up to uh, Gaydon now, and yeah, so that's that's about 100 miles, it's about two hours drive. We're gonna have a break on the way up, I think we'll stop at Cherwell Valley. Right, let's get this done. Well, it's lunchtime, we're coming off it off the M40 junction 10 into. Not my favourite services, Cherwell Valley, but it's convenient. It's got a large park, so you're always going to get parked up, all right. Yeah, you're going to go in there now and have our 45. Yeah, we're coming up to our six-hour rule. We've done five and a half hours. And there's nothing between here and Gaydon, so this is the ideal place to stop. We've done three hours driving anyway. I think that's enough. We had a good run up the A34. Where there's a bit rubbish as usual. I think we'll, um, we'll get in there and we're going. We're now going to uh, visit to our friendly bakers. I think we'll go and see the, the guys in Greg's. We might get uh, the old latte deal with a cake for two pound fifty. Rude not to really. Now exit, then at the roundabout. We'll get over here. It's better now that they've reconfigured this junction. I don't get all nailed up so much now like it used to after they messed it up when they reconfigured it the first time. You know, designers are that. Right, you got a bit of a queue to get in here, look. Bit of a queue. Yeah, I've got a little bit of a problem. Well, it ain't a problem, it's just annoying. When we stop, I'll, um, I'll show you on, on my camera what I mean. But I've fitted some wind, wind deflectors. After Come on, old lady, get going. Take the Don't exit, panic. Then the yeah, I've fitted the some wind deflectors on the doors. And the brackets that hold them on just about touch the glass sometimes. And when the glass... Now, exit, Hang on, then Jane. Follow the road to the right. Yeah, all right, Jane. That's fine. Yeah, when the um, wind blows from a certain direction, obviously the glass you know, rattles moves about fractionally so it just rattles on these blooming brackets I've tried adjusting them and doing what I can but if I pull them in any tighter I'm afraid I'm going to break the plastic so what I'm going to do I am going to get some just it's just just a little test get a bit of insulation tape and just just cover them on the outside of the come on on the outside of the bracket <laughs> On the outside of the bracket, yeah, that's what the train orders are for, people like that. To, 
stop them rattling. Oh, it just winds me up. Uh, yeah, so it's just a little bit of a test. They may not be that durable with insulation tape on, but if they're not really rubbing on the glass hard when it shuts, it just stops it rattling from side to side. I think it's going to do the trick. So we're going to do, that's the plan, we're going to go in and get our, our um, Greg's malarkey. We're going to have that and then we're going to come back and do this insulation tape thing. Look at that. Caramel and pecan, whatever it is, cake. And a large latte, that'll do me. Thank you very much for lunch. Yeah, those brackets I'm on about. All uh, right, let me just open the window. You see these um, here, the top ones, these ones. I think those, I think the ones down below are fine. It's just the ones at the top. You've got one here as well. I think they just rattle on the glass. So the plan of action is, is to cut some, well, you all know what insulation tape looks like cut some strips of insulation tape and stick it on there and just just see if it um, isolates the metal from the glass because that's the little rattle I don't think it's actually touching the glass when it shuts it's just when you're going along and it, it, it vibrates so that's that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have my coffee now and then we're gonna cut these little strips and just stick them on see this bloke in the mirror he opened his door up a little bit close to my truck for my liking really you know some people you know they don't really care about anybody else's property all right i don't own it but i drive it as my home you know just respect people's property you wouldn't like me opening my car door on yours would you yeah go on mr toyota off you go yeah so if you look up here now it's a bit dark i know because you got the light outside um, yeah you can see now I've put my hand there see I've got the tape over that I've done that I've done that on all all these on that one now because I managed to cut it into four there yeah, see now I've got no light behind it so hopefully I've, I've done the passenger side as well because I think that was rattling when Angie was with me she said that it was rattling a little bit come on focus Thank you. Yeah, she said it was rattling. I've heard it as well. So uh, I don't like opening the window a little bit because it's just noisy. Even with, even with those wind deflectors on, you still get wind noise. But it's nice. It's a little experiment. If it works, all well and good. If it don't, I haven't lost anything. Also, yesterday morning, I don't know if you remember when we came out of uh, Oxford Services to go down to London. Lovely sunny morning. We'd had a lot of rain the night before. And um, if you look where I've got this, see I've got this light, I've taken that out. Well all under here, and all through, with, obviously the light was in, <coughs> excuse me. I'm driving along and all of a sudden down here, all over my radio and my phone was here, and all over the dash, oh there's blooming water pouring out, all over my leg. Of course I'm then trying to mop it up with this, with a bar towel, driving along. Yeah, you know, I don't know where the hell that's come. Yeah, we had um, torrential rain last night, and I thought that's going to be a test. So I took the light off this morning before I left, because if you look up here, it's it's um, it's flat, see? And I think whatever water came down sat in there, and as soon as I went round the roundabout, it all spilled over the edge. So I thought this morning, I'll take that light out, and before I leave, I'll whiz it round the yard. They're in a the drop in there. Yeah, you know, so what's that all about? So I'm just going to have to keep my eye on that, I think, because I don't like things that leak, especially a truck that's, you know, barely nine months old. And like, although it's only been on the road a couple of months, it's, it's nine months old. Yeah, so I'm very happy about that. You know, I got soaked. I was worried about the dash, you know, all the electrics there getting wet. But yeah, I think it's a case of keeping my eye on it, I think. Yeah. Right, we've got another, another 10 minutes to go, and then we get on up the M40 to Gaydon. That was a nice little lunch break. Still got a drop of latte left. Um, oh, that cake was lovely. Yeah, we're going to give these little brackets a test now. You know, no guarantee the wind's going to be running, blowing in the right direction. But, uh, yeah. I'll tell you what, with these two cars I've got on, I feel like um, 
John Prescott, I, I suspect a lot of you won't even remember John Prescott. But he, yeah, they took the mick out of him because of the two cars that he had. He, he owned one and he, has, he had one, a governmental one that he could use. Um, he was the Deputy Prime Minister uh, a few years, well, quite a while ago now. <coughs> yeah, he was calling John Prescott two, whatever. So, yeah, that's what I've got on, two of those. I just feel like I'm being John Prescott for the day. those two cars off so I'm not John Prescott anymore I can be back to my old self so we've uh, got just over six miles to our next collection point we should be there by about ten past three so we're not doing too bad that's them on we're ready to roll we've got a three hour journey we've got three and a half or three hours 32 minutes driving left so we can't afford any old ups. So that's enough time to get back to base and get finished without another break. So we should be back. Of course, it's gonna be late. Half past six, quarter to seven. Let's better get on, ain't we? Let's go. That's it guys, back in the yard, we got back with, um, uh, I don't know what now, I've taken my card out. Got back with about 40 minutes to spare in the end. So I'm just going to pack my gear up. There's no traffic tonight, so I'm not going to see the other side of the traffic. I'm going to have a leisurely, well not too leisurely, I'm going to get my foot down. I'm going to be home in about half an hour, which is unusual. But I am late now. I'm quarter of an hour later than I should be. I told Angie I'd be home for half seven, but I've been gassing with the guys here. So anyway, I'm going to pack up. And I will see you in about three quarters of an hour. All right, I'm home. Did that 30 minutes door to door. You know why, don't you? Because most of the car idiots are locked in their houses. And I got a clear run. There's a few out there. I've had to sort of come up against a few. But there we go. So it's not been a bad day. There she is, look. 
in a corner, in a corner. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm late. Very late. It's been a long day. It's been a good day though. Everything's worked out fine. So I'm going to end this vlog here, I think now, because I'm going to. I haven't got much evening left. There's not going to be much to vlog. I've got to do a little bit on my laptop, eat my dinner, and chill, and have five minutes with my wife. Yeah. Yes. So I'm going to cut this loose now. This vlog. Thanks for joining me today. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow. We're going to pool tomorrow morning. So not too far. Just down the road into Dorset. See you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me. Bye.